actually i like the transparency i felt uh, your job uh, platform is more transparent the ceo is, uh, himself all uh, talks to the persons talks to the students a uh, bit often so as well as the instructors were up to their uh, are very highly skilled uh, as we know so and i also attend the free classes which i kyojo provides hi guys welcome back to our youtube channel i hope you all are doing good uh, we are back with a new testimonial video this video is uh, going to be important for those who have done their graduation in a non tech field and they want to they want to pursue a career in coding uh, even if you guys uh, are uh, and want to transition into tech you can watch it it will be extremely useful so watch this video till the end and before moving forward take a moment to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so that you guys are always updated on our upcoming Uh, so for this session we have Chandrasekhar with us. Uh, Chandrasekhar completed his graduation in uh, chemistry honors in 2020 itself, and then after that he got himself enrolled in masters. Uh, he got done with his masters in 2022, uh, but he had a passion for making a career in coding. So in March 2023 he got himself enrolled with actual job, and uh, right after uh, one month he got a placement as a Java developer in Infosys. Uh, at 5.5 mm so today we will be discussing about his entire journey how he developed his interest towards coding and he will also be sharing uh, how was his experience with coding and how uh, how was his experience with actual job and how he uh, actually cracked this job as a java developer so do make sure that you watch the video till the end uh, so uh, welcome uh, chandrashekhar thank you for being with us and first of all congratulations for getting placed as a java developer in anthology platform thank you thank you yeah. so much okay uh, can you tell us a little bit about your background okay i am uttarasa chandrasekhar from uh, tamil nadu state uh, so as you said i did a graduation in chemistry stream in both bsc and msc and i did have a passion, passion for uh, coding so after msc i uh, learned coding by joining a local institution but it was i feel, felt it was not up to mark to get placed in a higher level companies product based companies Okay. So by I want to upskill myself. Uh, then I got to know about IQ job and joined the, joined IQ jobs in March. And I also studied a, a bit uh, in online such as YouTube and other courses side by side. Okay. So fortunately I got placed at uh, um, April itself in uh, Anthology Blackboard at a uh, good C- CTC. Okay. Great. So, uh, Chandrasekhar, I think I'm going to ask you a very obvious question. Uh, you did your bachelor's in chemistry, right? And then you even went ahead and pursued your master's in chemistry itself. Uh, you got done with that as well. So, what was the reason behind coding and not pursuing a career in chemistry itself? Okay, the first thing is uh, I'm not a narrow-minded person. I actually have interest in computer also, computers also. I played okay. video games as everyone would in the teenage and childhoods. So I got a very passion for web developing. While searching for web developing, I came across the vast uh, scope that coding has. So okay. I was impressed by that scope. So that, okay. that's why I, I got an aspiration to learn coding. Okay. So Chandrasekhar, you mentioned that you were already a part of a bootcamp and uh, you already had started learning coding before even joining Active Job. So how did you get to know about Active Job and what was that reason that you decided that you would want to go ahead with us as well? Yeah, I, uh, I got to heard about IQ jobs by uh, via YouTube, I think. So I then um, I actually before joining IQ job, I researched uh, about three months. Okay. I would say three months about IQ jobs, about their placements, about their curriculum, etc. Okay. So I had a it's a, actually a long term uh, planning to join IQ jobs, and finally on March. I did uh, stay, take a step forward and joined IQ Job. Okay, so Chandrasekhar, like you mentioned that you researched, you know, uh, three months before finally uh, enrolling yourself in IQ Job. Can you tell us a few things that you took care of? Because uh, there are a lot of boot camps out there that people, uh, you know, would want to join if they want to learn coding. So, uh, any factors that you considered and you think that uh, students should consider before uh, going ahead with any boot camp for coding? Ah uh, yes, actually I like the transparency. I felt uh, your job uh, platform is more transparent. The CEO is, uh, himself all uh, talks to the persons, talks to the students a uh, bit often. So as well as the instructors were up to there uh, are very highly skilled uh, as we know. 
so and i also attend the free classes which i kyojo provides the 10 day classes right okay so uh, twice actually okay. so uh, there i learned uh, there i came to know about uh, astonished about their expertise in coding uh, that's mm-hmm. what pulled me in the kyojos okay great so basically you attended a lot of pre course classes before finally making the the decision and there itself uh, you realize that the instructors are pretty great and uh, the company is pretty transparent with them okay yeah exactly great job shri yeah, so you enrolled yourself uh, with aqua job in march itself and right after a month you got this placement so uh, can you uh, tell us uh, the entire experience that you had so far and even after getting placed are you still studying with us or uh, have you given yourself some break sort of uh, no actually after enrolling itself i'm still continuing with aqua jobs uh, so i still want to upskill myself to the great extent the okay. i want to utilize the potential this course holds that's why i'm uh, still continuing but uh, as a fresher as i joined in a product based company uh, the, there are in the probation period i, I want to perform well okay. so i just uh, hold that two modules in iq job uh, posit the modules and uh, it focused on on learning about the product which i am working to mm-hmm. cope up with the team okay great so uh, let's talk a little bit about your uh, experience at cracking uh, this company right so tell us a little bit about how you applied for this role and what was their selection criteria and what all things did you prepare and in what all aspects uh, aqua job ended up helping you in cracking this role okay uh, while uh, attending this interview i was just passed the first module of aqua jobs okay. so that I, I the two d array spot and the for loops and the conditionals uh, actually the for loops and the array 2d arrays and the array problems helped me a lot in the interview so i applied for the anthology blackboard interview by uh, naukri by myself uh, then i got then it's a four round process actually uh, okay. one technical round two managerial rounds and one hr round okay. so i cleared the cleared the four okay so uh, chandrashekar what kind of questions are asked in the technical round and were you able to solve them easily or uh, how was it like did you think the questions were a little bit difficult and do you think those similar questions were also there at your job curriculum okay yeah, actually frankly i would say my interview was a bit easier because uh, i uh, applied for a fresher role so and i also oh. applied for a java de- java developer which is my which which i'm bit stronger than other coding languages oh. or other front end technologies so mm-hmm. the interview was uh, much easier the more theoretical concepts such as oops collections played a greater part in my interview and the problem okay. solving also involved about mm-hmm. the array problems and the strings were given mm-hmm. and also the hash set hash maps have also been used okay okay so uh, did they ask you about your projects as well like do they look for projects and did you have any in your resume yes sir sure. i strongly believe that were projects uh, actually made my resume stood out for that process Okay. which um, projects actually are very important uh, as uh, in my point of view so i did mention the two projects in my resume during the during my interview times as a fresher okay so did you make this these projects uh, in aqua job itself or was it something you had already uh, started doing before joining aqua job i uh, know as i said earlier i was just uh, finished the first module in aqua job so i did these projects earlier oh, by other sources okay great so uh you got this job uh, off campus right so uh are there any uh, tips or tricks you would like to share with people uh because you are someone who is a non tech person right uh, not even a b tech right you did your uh, graduation in chemistry honors so uh, what are struggles uh, do you used to face while applying for jobs on campus and uh, how can one overcome them uh, can you just share a little about that okay during the during uh, the time which i applied for interviews the resistance was in its peak the resistance talk was in its peak so we yes. got a little bit feared uh, and, uh, adi- and adding to that i am also from a non tech background but mm-hmm. uh, what i would suggest is learn strongly and be consistent i actually gave uh, the 6 to 6 interviews before clearing this interview and uh, i just uh, cleared many of them you know, of the 6 i cleared I, around 4 itself but still mm-hmm. yes due to some constraints i didn't join them but i studied continuously after six interviews this interview processes gave me uh, actually made me realize what where where i'm lacking what concepts were should i need, need to learn 
to crack the next interview so i covered the lagging parts and okay. that made me succeed in my sixth interview and uh, it was the best this is in my life great great anshika yes yeah, so that was about the tech rounds and uh, the side uh, the kind of projects that they asked now let's talk a little bit about the hr rounds that you had to go through uh, tell us a uh, tell us few uh, questions the kind of questions that uh, the company asked you and uh, how was your experience through that okay now sir on the did actually uh, ask me that usual question you are from a non tech background why did you transition into this uh, coding part Okay. So I uh, explained my passion, passion about coding to them, and actually, and also the path uh, that I have crossed so far, <laughs> the internships and the courses I have done. Okay, okay then uh, okay, uh, the work locations that you want to work, okay. and they also explained about the probation period to, uh, of the company and the rules of the company, which they love. Okay. Great. Yes, Chandrasekhar. So I think uh, fair. So you have already joined this company and you have been working for some time now. But you also mentioned that you are still studying uh, with Akhil Job consistently. So how do you manage your schedule? I uh, mean, you go to office and then do you watch recordings or how do you make use of uh, the whole portal? Okay. To be frankly speaking, as a fresher, uh, uh, transitioning into an IT career and also managing work as well as study is a big hectic for me. at this moment Definitely. but i am yeah. still trying my best to cope up i didn't want i don't want to lose the hold of my iq jobs hmm. so i wherever i get time i would uh, down the live live classes but if i missed i would uh, watch the recordings as well they are there are obviously there and i will solve hmm. the assignments uh, to the extent i can and yes i will give the module test and uh, will continue in the pro- i would like to continue in the process Oh. Uh, so you have gotten placed as a Java developer in this company. Uh, so are you also following the DSA track in Accio Job as well? Yeah, I am planning to follow the DSA track. Now that you have joined, can you tell us a little bit about how your experience is in this company and how is the work culture and how are you managing it? Okay, the work culture is a uh, great. So the office floor is friendly, as in um, many IT companies. Yeah. and it's also a product based company and we are uh, having about 60 plus products okay. and we have some more of many of them are saas type of products and i'm working in a maintenance team which uh, which we will fix bugs bugs present in the existing product for okay. now so you are liking it in the company yeah sure obviously Okay, great. Okay, so we will end this uh, interview on just one last uh, question. I would want you to just share a few things uh, which a person who is coming from a non-tech background, who is just starting his coding journey from scratch, things that he can take care of while learning coding, and uh, what all things that he should focus on so that his journey is uh, quite smoother when it comes to coding. Okay, in my opinion, it comes all under passion. If you want to. If you wish to learn coding and uh, have a craze about the IT industry there in India, you you can obviously find a force to pursue there. That's uh, what got me here. So you can uh, learn codings uh, from a uh, from everywhere, anywhere where we want, right? In our uh, YouTube or in everywhere, or in by uh, joining IQ Job Portal as well. Like there are many institutions there, and the more main thing is consistency. So if you if you fail into interviews, then no worries. We have, what we should do is we should learn from our failures. So where we are lagging, this those will teach where we are lagging. Actually, we can you you make great use of the IQ of small tests, mock interviews for that. So where we are lagging, and we can uh, build a strongly by these small small steps, we can at last we can build a, we will be a stronger person, and we can uh, ace a great interview at that time. that is great advice chandrashekar thank you so much for taking out time uh, to do this with us i uh, think uh, people will find it extremely helpful and they will find inspiration from your journey and uh, they will uh, think of starting their coding journey even if they have some sort of inclination towards learning coding uh, so thank you so much for being here with us sure thank you that is it for today's video guys i hope you all liked it with chandrashekar please like and share the video and don't forget to comment down below your questions so that we will be covering them in Our next video and if you guys are also excited about learning coding you can just go to our website and register for our aptitude test this test will help you 
will discover which course is best for you be it word stack or java full stack you guys can also attend our free coding boot camps uh, both courses have amazing instructors from top it companies and access to one on one mentorship from these amazing instructors as well so don't miss out on this incredible opportunity simply click on the link provided in the description below to learn more and register and if you guys are new to the channel then don't forget to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you guys are always notified on our upcoming videos thank you so much